Okay, so when GSA goes to award a contract, we must follow parts 38 and part 12. Okay? We do a full acquisition planning. We post to Fed Biz Ops. When an offer comes in to us, we have to do a full responsibility determination on a contractor. And it is our contracting officers, our PCO's job to negotiate based on the terms and conditions of the solicitation, right, which is delivery, which is warranty, which is discounts for, you know, maybe quantity, maybe dollar volume, all of those things taken into account. The most favored customer or the best price possible based on those terms and conditions for the government, right? But understand that at that time and place, our PCO has no idea six months from now after that offer it becomes a contract what your statement of work is going to look like or your TO is going to look like. So they do a look at their commercial business and say, are they ready to play in the federal market? Can they, based on how they do business in the commercial market, offer us the best deal possible? Um, what else do we do at the base level? Terms and conditions. Um, we do, right, we do the terms and conditions. One of the values that GSA brings to the contract is to pre-negotiate terms and conditions, okay? Um, and then the fair and reasonable pricing. Again, 2.1 does not define what fair and reasonable pricing is.